Hello, hello everyone. It's Brian, your handy dandy realtor here in the city of Windsor. I was just out showing some houses. That's why I still have my coat on. Haven't taken it off yet. Just got home. I wanted to do, the, on my mind, um, if you're looking at moving to Windsor, I would suggest that you get started now. Um, I was at the gas station today. The place was packed. I've never seen anything like it. 30, 40 cars at a gas station. The gentleman pulled in next to me. I asked him, I said, is there bombing going on around the globe or something? This is just really weird. Why are the, why is this, this gas station this crazy busy? And he said, I don't know. I just came from the other gas station down the road. It was packed even worse. And I said, so there has to be something going on. There has to be some kind of bombing around the globe going on or something for gas stations all of a sudden to just be jammed with freaking cars. I've never seen anything like it in this city. The only other, so, so then I checked the news and it doesn't seem like there's anything going on. And then it dawned on me, it's like, wait a second. There's so much more population. The population of Windsor is expanding so rapidly. Because as I was out showing houses, I ran into Toronto realtors who were down here with their cars showing people houses in the city of Windsor. So that flood. Then I remembered um, my listing that I have in the Villages of Riverside. That's actually being shown right now. It's uh, 145, so it's being shown right now. Um, that realtor that was showing it said these folks are coming from out of town. They're coming from Toronto. There's a lot of people coming from Toronto, and we're driving everybody around showing them houses down here. That's why the gas stations are packed. Everybody went out. Oh, it's 1 o'clock on a Sunday. Churches are out. It's 1 o'clock on a Sunday. Everybody's out. The road was kind of busy. Everybody's over at the grocery store. Part of that might be that the Detroit Lions are playing today, I guess, at 3.30. I'm not exactly sure even when the game is because I don't pay any attention to it. It's just if I happen to turn the TV on because I have a chance to watch something and, the, and it's on, it's like, oh, what a benefit. Get to watch a football game. Um, like last night, I was able to watch a football game for a while. I've got to go back out and show houses now or in a very short period of time. That's why I left my coat on. Um, I got to go back out and show houses again um, because my Toronto office had called me and said, hey, um, we've got uh, some clients that are moving to Windsor and they want to go see uh, a place that's a $995,000 house. Will you show them? And I said, of course, yeah, I'll drive across town and go show those folks that house. Absolutely, yes. And then I actually have two other houses to talk to them about too um, when I meet with him today to see if they're even something that he would consider, two houses that are going to be coming up. Um, but it dawned on me then, this is just the massive explosion of population in the city of Windsor. That's what it is. That's why the gas stations are all packed at 2 o'clock or 1.30 on a Sunday. Everybody happens to be out going to the grocery store because it's when everybody has a chance because everybody's working three, time, three jobs um, to try to make ends meet in this super expensive world now. So Sunday, 2 o'clock, that's when they can go out and do their things. And that's why the gas stations were all packed all at the same time, it seems like, because it doesn't seem like there's anything else going on in the globe unless there's something that's just not hit the wires as of yet. Um, so population expansion, population explosion in the city of Windsor. Then the other thing that I, it, that I also have realized as I was walking around and seeing some other realtors today, too, I've been asking them, how busy are you? Are you crazy busy, too? Or what's going on with you? Are you, are you, are you okay? And all of the realtors that I run into said, yeah, I feel really, really good. So that tells me that they're busy, too. I feel phenomenal um, just because I'm crazy busy. Um, and so then it is a signal that this market is moving rapidly. So I would just be prepared. If you're thinking about moving to the city of Windsor, you better be ready to go. One of the challenges that I have right now is I'm driving around somebody that's lived in Windsor their entire life, 
doesn't necessarily understand the valuations of houses. And I show him houses and he's thinking less rather than more. Um, houses are still selling over their asking prices, especially the beautiful houses. Sometimes we are the only offeree and then, yeah, we get to make our, we get to decide what our price is, but the seller still decides their price. That hasn't changed. The seller decides. I had an offer yesterday on my house out in Amherstburg, but we decided to walk away from that offer because it just wasn't high enough. We went back to that realtor and said, you know, we're, uh, we're not, we don't need to be doing this. So we're going to just not sign back your offer. Um, have your client come at us when they're ready to play the game, when they're ready to be reasonable with what a raised ranch is actually physically worth. Apparently they didn't really listen to you. The average selling price of a raised ranch in the in Windsor Essex County is five hundred and some odd thousand dollars. Well, why wouldn't this be the average raised ranch? Why wouldn't it also d demand a an offer for five hundred thousand dollars? That's how I priced it. It's priced right at what the average is because it's the average raised ranch. It's not ultra beautiful. It's not ultra ugly. It's the average, and it's got a nice piece of land. So that's how the pricing point comes up with it, and. To write us an offer with all kinds of other, you know, things, a house to sell, financing, and all that other stuff, they're just too far away. Why would we accept an offer with all of those clauses in it for such a big discount? If you're putting clauses in your offer, you got to go up. You don't go down. You got to go up. And maybe that's that realtor that's not necessarily coaching their client on what they're trying to do because it will fail all of the time. So I just wanted to shoot this video because it's crazy busy out here. Traffic is worse than I've ever seen it. And then the last thing to be able to share with you about the Windsor real estate market is that on the real estate board, before I retired from it, my businesses are just crazy busy. Um, before I retired from it, then I, I can take that hat off. At least I'll have some lines here on my forehead, but it's okay. And yeah, I kind of feel tired too. Just like, geez, it's been crazy, crazy busy. Um, but the other side to that is that the real estate board is constantly doing surveys. And where we thought in 2021, 2022, it was busy that there were a lot of people moving here. That was a pittance compared to what it is now. The surveys that we're getting back, that the massive sums of people that are moving here. I've been telling you, Windsor's the South Beach of Canada, and there's a lot of people that will eventually be moving here. All of the people that can do work from home. I just found out the other day that even my broker of record, well, not my broker of record, but one of my brokers lives in Amherstburg. She can work from anywhere. So she lives in Amherstburg, wonderful little town to retire to in Ontario, South Ontario, historic town, really beautiful little town to retire to. Very steeped in history. Amazing housing there, both brand new and old. You can get a 150-year-old farmhouse there. You can get a two-year-old Taj Mahal there and still live small town because it is still a small town. And it's right on the water, Amherstburg. It's beautiful. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to point out to you that I think what was going on at the gas station was just everybody was out and about. That population has exploded here. And that's why everything is so crazy busy at 1.30 on a, on a Sunday. It's when everybody's out driving around. Um, I was just floored by it. it I, was, I was like, I don't understand. Why is everything all of a sudden this crazy busy? It was like I was driving around in my own little world today. And then all of a sudden, I'm just jammed in with everybody. It's like, where the hell did all these people come from? And that's the feeling that I'm getting here in the city of Windsor is that the population is exploding. 
And the real estate board data is showing that, yes, it's nothing like what it's ever been. It's, it's far, far busier than what it had been in even 2021. This is definitely Windsor's time. It definitely is. The battery plant is going up. It's a massive structure. I don't know if they're ever going to be able to produce a battery over there. Who knows? But they're building it. If you build it, maybe they come. I don't know how long it survives. I don't think that we're going to end up moving over into any kind of battery technology anyway by 2035. I think that that's all just a wishy-washy thing. They say that 95% of electric cars are still on the road and 5% of them made it home. Made it home. And uh, you know, electric car sales are slumping off tremendously all around the globe. Nobody wants the darn things because they just the technology is just not there. They don't work. And so everybody's like, I want a car that can take me from point A to point B without having to worry about the damn thing. Well, it's a gas-powered car. Maybe that's why the, you know, if, if there's all these electric cars, then why in the heck would the gas station, all of the gas stations over here are just packed. Why? If everybody's buying electric cars, then why would the gas station be? It doesn't add up. It doesn't com compute um, the stuff that we're otherwise being pounded into our heads. Um, it's not computing. Um, this city is growing exceptionally rapidly. If you are moving to Windsor, we better get started. Right now is a good time because there's not as many people out looking right now. I was surprised to see all the Torontos because the weather is so beautiful for the 401. There's no snow. So, of course, they're all down here looking at houses. You should be too. Have a great day. If I can help in any way, 519-995-6145, 519-995-6145. i got to get it kind of out the door to go show some houses again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.